What up, squad? What up, people? We outside in Austin. It is South by Southwest. We are on the Ultra Dragon Stage 3. Brought to you by We Code It. Shy Battery Systems. Green Line Engineering and Fast A Suspension. We're rocking a brand new pair of Havoc goggles. Thanks to my mommy. Not sponsored. Sponsored by my mommy. They are mirrored. They're mirrored, but they have like a great colored gradient. So if I look up, I see like a purple tint. And if I look down, I see like a green tint. I love this little hobo bridge. Or should I say hobbit bridge? Get a real van. Just chilling there with a fan. Dude, is this more of a van life spot? Anywho, um, today we're going to uh, Whole Foods. Shocking. Keep staring. We're going to Whole Foods uh, to return something from Amazon and then pick up some brakes. Ah, oh, I didn't bring my tool. Dang it, what a fool. <sighs> so many things I need to bring and I just don't have enough cargo pockets for all of them. Usually I go like this. But today we're going like this. Yeah, it's the guy from White Stripes. All right, I'm gonna take care of this real quick. Oh, look at these guys, outdoors. That's the most awesome thing I've ever seen. Doggy, two laptops, both Macs. Okay, let's take care of this. Oh my god, hot goth alert. Hot goth alert. Bye. Bye, pretty goth girl that's looking down at her phone. Okay, we returned our parking boot. I bought a parking boot for $30 on a, a vehicle immobilizer. Uh, we don't have front brakes right now. We actually just picked up a set uh, from Amazon, but we're not gonna touch this lever right here. I don't know why they just, my front brakes wear down much quicker on one side than the other. Dude, I got like the cheapest set of like, eight brake pads like rip off magora brake pads from amazon i had to get them because they were next day they got to be the I, we'll do a review on them it was the only ones that were next day but it was literally twelve dollars for eight sets i want to say that's stupid they're probably so thin we're on our way to nadc burger natic not a damn chance burger. This place is run by Philip, a guy that I met briefly like a year ago in the green room at uh, Vulcan. And uh, us, and he just brought food. He just brought burgers and they were delicious. And look at this crazy bus life bus. Yeah, so it's this guy Philip who is a Michelin award winning chef, whatever that means, not the tires. Who are you honking at? And a pro skateboarder, who I should probably know the name of. You have too much marker on your bus, sir. Or just the right amount. So I've had it before. It's delicious. But we're going to get some glamour shots of uh, this delicious burger. It's crazy out here because it's... Uh, because it's freaking south by southwest. It's like the end of tech week right now. It's terrifying, for, it's, it's really shitty for bus, bus lift living. But it's wonderful for Sir Oning, Sir on Dick, Hedder, Dick Hedery. Coming through, not going that way. I could go this way. Whew, 
Thank God for Surons. I'm trying to diversify my channel. I've been getting some constructive criticism from the higher ups, i.e., Red Band and his fiance. Dang, you're just shredding. They said you can't keep doing the same thing and expecting the same results. So we're going to try to change up our videos here for the sake of our audience and for the sake of Mr. Brian Redband and his lovely fiance, Janice. Coming through, guys. I know I shouldn't be here. I know I'm not supposed to be here. But well, what are you going to do? See you guys. You yeah. Uh, uh, you come to the show later? Yeah, I'll see you later. Right. What are you gonna do, man? Hey, shut up. Shut the fuck up. Ah, uh, oh, yummy. Yummy ass Natic burger. Sixteen dollars. It is worth it to try it. It is delicious. I had a nine dollar ice cream sandwich. That I, I saw him bring it up and I didn't want to be like, ooh, I don't need that because really I don't need that. Like my body doesn't need that. But also my wallet doesn't need that because it's I mean I've had an ice cream sandwich, that's all I'm saying. Oh Bro, you gotta do a wheelie. You got you gotta do a wheelie for me, bro. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen those. That's a razor, right? Yeah, it's a or, razor. It was discontinued like in 2017 or something. Oh, really? I don't know how it's still okay. It's working though, just five hour charge. That's your daily driver? No. Oh. Not too, not too often. Just oh. a weekend driver. It's probably perfect for this town. It's perfect for these, these, uh, these festivals downtown, yeah. Oh, dude. It looks, it looks sick. I love it. <laughs> Have a good day, man. How do we get through here without going to jail? Um, yeah, absolutely delicious burger. I wouldn't be getting them every day, but that is such a good burger. We're going to see what's going on on 6th. We're going to, I think we got to head back to the bus, throw these front brakes on just because they're giving, I'm getting paranoid about them. They can't be good. Because a normal set is like $20 for one set. Yeah, this is probably not a good idea. I played poker with those guys last night. $25 buy-in. And I would never claim to be a good poker player. But I am a good, I am good at lying. I am good at acting and I do love bluffing. I love bluffing and then showing people my cards that I bluffed. Letting them know that I bluffed. Nothing better. And then people getting upset. And then really not knowing the rules. Asking questions about the difference between a flush and a straight. And then getting second. I literally got second place. It was three in the morning. I had to go. I said, can I just get my 25 bucks back? And then you take the rest of the pot. He was, he said, oh yeah, for sure. He was totally down with that idea. Hey, Mumford. What's up, buddy? Cool guy. Uh, yeah, he was cool with that. But then I looked at my uh, stack of chips and his stack of chips. I was like, I should have said 35. Hey, it's this guy again. I should have said at least 35, 40, you know what I'm saying? But Taylor, the dude hosting the party, bought in twice. So he spent $50 and he bought all the pizza and the beer. So he was out the most. Hi, what's up, man? On, How's it going? Where are you headed? Riding around. Dude, last time I saw you, you were on an analog bike. Oh, yeah. 
How's it? How's the Suron life? Oh, I love it. It rides good. You got the stunts down? I got some wheelies. getting used to the left hand brake so how much did you spend on the whole thing around like eight grand dude that's not bad for like yeah. parts got the bigger motor and yeah 500 72 volt battery i got this battery for 1200 bucks oh that's not bad at all yeah luke dodge built it i don't know if you know oh it that's a custom diy battery oh sick yeah it's good it's a good battery catch you later all right peace brother Dude, we just outside popping out. We popping out. We running into all kinds of homies today. That was for the crowd. That was just because there was a crowd. Not even a good wheelie. Not even worth getting limited monetization. Dude, everyone is on an e-bike out here in Austin. Everyone is on some form of either a rental scooter, a Super 73, a Suron, a Razor, a Rad Rover. That guy's bike is electric, but his girl's was not. That's kind of a bad look. Um, everything is like something, bro. Mod Bikes is out here. Zugo. I invented this shit. Y'all are copying me. Look at these dudes. More dudes. My horn is working. I don't want to go to the freaking library. It's so nice out. All right, let's check out these brakes, guys. Okay, I'll leave a link for these below. I'll tell you how good they are and how long they last. I guess they're pretty sick. I just, I don't get how they make them so cheap. How can they afford to make these so cheap? But $12 for four sets. We'll see. I would recommend getting the good ones, not the Magura brand ones. Those are overpriced, but I think Gek makes a good pair of like ceramic ones. Oh, they're already halfway out. That is sick. And there's metal, there's little metal shavings everywhere. Okay. When changing your pads, do not contaminate them. Actually make sure that both pistons are, you guys know, actually all four pistons are pushed in completely. Oh no. That actually just landed perfectly. <laughs> yeah, maybe not the best spot to be doing this. There it is. There it is. Satisfying. Okay, put that guy back on there. Let's uh, seat these. Make sure they're solid. Ooh, that was good. There they stop. Hey, free, free mat. Dude, that's a nice mat. Looks nice. Okay, we're back in business. We got a nice welcome mat. We got fresh front brakes for the price of basically on the house. We're gonna take Congress, but I wanna take this little, actually not Congress. I don't even know what street it is. I'm not that much of an Austinite yet. But I just like this little footpath up here. So we saw two Surons today, two, two or three Super 73s, a Razor, every other kind of corny, slow e-bike, and like 40 rental scooters. We're going this way. Oh, we're gonna take such a dickhead route to get there. Oh. We're gonna take such a dickhead. I could even jump into the street right there. Oh my God. Oh my God, we're a turd. You think this is a lady? You think this is a lady or just a very thin man on a small motorcycle? 
Oh, it's a woman. What's that? Oh, no, no. You definitely didn't just stall. <laughs> How much in one of those? 4,000. Looks like 4,000. Oh, yeah? That runs pretty good, huh? Yeah, not as long as that one. How long does it run on one charge? 50 miles. Oh, yeah. You rode it on the dirt? Does it go good? Oh, yeah, I ride it everywhere. Have a good day, man. It is fun. You know what else is fun? Not begging for money. Anyways, guys, use my promo code to buy jackrabbits. Use my promo code to purchase your jackrabbit. XG. Please. I get $99 every time you guys buy a $1,700 e-bike. Hey, pretty girl, check this out. Check out this wheelie failure, girl. Hey, hey, watch, watch the very end of the wheelie where I put it down sketchy. And you look up from your phone at the worst possible time. All these little Fiat 300s here are all rentals. I'm very curious to know what it's like to uh, own that as an electric car. They're not expensive in the used market, really. The range is terrible. I think it's like 90 miles. But they are a very interesting looking, fun little car. Oh my god, all the, all the outlets, all the time. Every outlet you could ever want. Okay, Shy, 100% at 10 amps. What do you got, library? 77 volts, might as well charge for free here, right? All right guys, library time, boring. But we have to do it, it's so beautiful out. But we got enough riding in, enough day riding in for now. Okay, full water bottle, full battery, still armed, and full day of work at the library. And when I say full day, I mean three hours. Thank you, library, for your wonderful resources. I will be getting a, uh, I will be getting a library card soon. Just gotta get one of them addresses. That's the hardest part. I've always wanted to full send right off this thing. Fun. Look at this. What is this? What is this all about? What is happening? Whoa. Dude, that's even weirder. That's even more weird that you're doing that. Whoa! That is so crazy, Tesla guy. Terry Black's right over there. Swiggy works there. And he's got a big hog, according to his comedy. And most of his jokes are big hog related. Oh my god, I hate backpacks. When will my spine be strong enough to handle the weight of one laptop, a Suron charger, and a bo small bottle of water? Alright, we're gonna try something tricky. We're trying to go that way. Oh, we look like a fool. So much easier to go the other way. Okay. That's going to be the vlog, y'all. Thank you for tuning in. Pretty eventful. This is one of those good ones that I like. So feel free to gift me with a like. If you felt like you liked this vlog, hit subscribe if you're not already a member of Loophole Culture Underground. Check out my Patreon. If you are into ad-free early vlogs and exclusive content, huge shout out to all my patrons. I love you guys. 
you keep this channel afloat. You put the diesel in the bus. You put the composting toilets in the back of the bus. Oh, chill, doggy. We are going to change. Chill, train. We're going to change up our loadout. And then head to Cam Patterson's show at Sunset Strip. You guys can't come along because I'm not going to bring my helmet and deal with all that unnecessary bullshit. Support your local loophole. Sorry about the train. Get after it. Good enough isn't peace. It's an e-bike. Yeah, yeah. Right. For older people who think they're riding motorcycles, it's an electric sure. bike. Yeah.